Some city of El Paso employees are worried they will have to start looking for work after receiving a notice that said they would be laid off in April. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields spoke with the city to address their concerns. Some of those furloughed employees are library workers saying they received this letter from HR saying as a result of COVID-19, some employees lack sufficient or essential work to perform during this time, saying it's become necessary for those to be laid off. But the city says it's actually trying to find vacant positions for those to fill. We really weren't sure what was going on with our furlough or what was going to happen. City of El Paso furloughed employees receiving notices they would be laid off effective April 5th. But the city is looking to bring those workers into other vacant positions. So we um, worked to get master's degrees to work as professional librarians. We're not sure since our training and education is so specific how feasible that will be. Furloughed staff departments include libraries, parks and rec, the zoo and museum and cultural affairs. Those employees can be placed in other departments, but they must meet qualifications and that can come with less pay. So this provides an employment opportunity for the employees that are currently on furlough. And then on top of that, it, it attempts to avoid any layoffs. At the same time, some city executives received pay increases after the budget was approved in 2021, while other employees waited on their employment status. That's because they're taking on additional responsibilities or helping the workforce. There's multiple reasons, but really it is about what are we doing to save money. Some employees say they feel there was a lack in communication. I mean, I'm glad that they're considering putting us somewhere else, but that's still not a guarantee either. And, you know, furthermore, this whole situation is created by them. I don't know if I'm being reinstated. I don't know if I'm being placed in another department. I, I would just like to work. There's no specific timeline on when those 75 furloughed employees will be reinstated into different positions, but the city says it started the process by reaching out to those individuals. Reporting in West El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.